honored next month by ACT Today, and that's for their work to help children with autism. We're going to talk about that award and how you feel about a recent uh, video that's been posted out there, which was extremely disturbing. Disturbing beyond. Yeah. But let's get to the claws route when we want to break <laughs> about this. This, I understand, was one of the most heated uh, topics between you two, and that's about your son playing football. Yeah. So, Break it down for us. <laughs> well, in a nutshell, <laughs> you see, the guy has a, a father who played for 16 years. Yes. And he also, a lot of people don't know, Rodney was drafted by the MLB. He was a multi-sport athlete. And he was, you know, an exceptional uh, uh, individual at school. So he was a high-level guy. Yeah, I wrote it, baby. Good yeah, job. right, right. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and so when you have a kid, and especially like all of our kids are, have natural athletic ability, but one in particular, is like a baller, right? right? And so he wanted to play um, football. And I just, with what we know now and concussions and all the things, I felt like it, maybe it was not a good idea. So he starts playing baseball. And isn't he great at baseball? Like, he is so good, right? So good. <laughs> um, and so this became an issue because he wanted to play football. So for two years, I pushed back. And so every time it, it was time to sign up, we had to have this conversation. What was the conversation? The conversation was I didn't want him to play. Rodney said it's up to him. He did want to play. And uh, it, it, it was just very heated. Uh, and uh, you're being real quiet. That's almost like, I am. What are you, I'm Switzerland over there? You're just not going to pick a side? Very, you just step out. very, very quiet. Whatever I, mommy says. I, you know, and I did. I, I really wanted it to be up to him if he really wanted to play. But also, I understood that the you know the the situation with football now with now. injuries we know yeah. more all those type of things i just looked at it as what it did for me yeah. and and how it taught me about a lot of lessons in life I agree. and uh, playing and, and and being a part of a team and and discipline and all those type of things that helped me later on that's the way i was coming at it mm -hmm. but certainly i i think that you have to have if you're going to allow your son or daughter mm -hmm. to play football you have to really investigate the league in which they're playing and yeah. understand the coaches, oh. coaches. The you should have seen me looking yeah. over this equipment yeah. I mean I was kicking that equipment I put it on myself and ran into a wall just to, to see how I felt no I mean I'm joking yeah. but I really looked at all the equipment and, and I talked to the coaches and I gave them the inquisition you know but it's just really important and is it something he will play yeah. later on maybe maybe not but um, I think for each family it's a big decision so is he as good as dad? Yeah. Is he better than dad? At, How good is he? At 12? Um, no, not even close. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Well, this is high school. But he's a great baseball player. Did I mention that, that he can yeah, play you baseball? Mentioned that. Uh, let, you let me ask you, this is high school. How would you feel, Rodney, if he wanted to play professional football? If it came to that, if he, if he had an opportunity to play yeah. professional football and he continued to play, I, you know, I would support yeah. that 100%. Holly? I'd be in the stands like the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're, yeah, they'd have we're, to sedate me. We're, we're pushing the baseball route. It was hard. Yeah. 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 Baseball, good. All right, let's talk about uh, your son, RJ. You've been on. How is he, by the way? He's 16. He, I, I, I sent him over to a local coffee shop today to get a job application. He has autism. We're so blessed that he's ha found his voice. But I need him to get a job. <laughs> I need him to work, you yeah. know? And that's the most important thing with these adolescents, these adults, as they're transitioning into adulthood. That they need they need jobs they need community support they need so much um, and you know you mentioned earlier uh, earlier in the intro how we're seeing a lot of situations going on around the country where um, these young kids with autism in their teens are being treated terribly in these vile situations and so I'm always concerned about him moving forward and making sure that he's respected in the community and we need a lot of support has he been community. disrespected um, I, I, I wouldn't go so far as to say bully. Uh -huh. I mean, you see how I am, you know, so I, I roll up they're on the school. You. Yeah, they're scared <laughs> of me. So, uh, but, but, and we're fortunate that we have resources. Listen, I took him to the police station locally. He walks around the neighborhood a lot with a hoodie mm -hmm. on and he's very jovial, but I wanted, you know, but in certain communities that doesn't happen. And so like in the case in Ohio where a young boy was, had a, a horrible um, ice challenge gone wrong with feces poured on him. I mean, it was the most, it hurt my heart so 
badly that there are people in this country that think that that's okay. There was just a clear for our audience. There was an autistic child in the ALS ice bucket challenge. Right. Mm -hmm. And they Five kids and there were the kids it. that challenged yeah. this uh, autistic boy and right. they dumped this horrible unacceptable and mm -hmm. vile and the worst thing ever. And here was a kid who thought he was getting in with friends. And is I've RJ seen RJ aware of stuff like that. He is. And what's he his saw response? It. What's his response to that? He he said, "Mom, you should go to Ohio and talk to them." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah no, he's got the, He knows mom is the mom lays yeah. the hammer he down. Knows well. how to play. Yeah. He knows how to play. Shoes on the ground in yeah. Ohio. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you know this stuff gets. And then one thing to do it, but then put it up on a video and make it go viral. And the good news is, we you know social media used for good can be pretty awesome. Used for bad, we know what it can do. Yeah. But the Drew Carey's of the world, and even Aaron Paul, and another situation that happened in Florida where a boy with autism was beat up. Um, you know, we're able to sort of get the word out. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's really important. And you know, because you're able to get the word out and you've done that for so many years, you are being honored. You're having yeah, an award in your yeah, honor. What's it Tell about? us what's about the that. Award? Well, uh, we're, we're, you know, listen, we don't do what we do to get awards, but we're right. really honored that um, ACT today is, is honoring us for our work with autism. You know, these are such beautiful, sincere, amazing young individuals. And as you can see, our son has a, a mom and dad who are very active and resourceful, but so many children don't have the resources that we have. So yeah. we're just glad anytime we get a chance to get the word out about what we do. And Holly Rod Foundation helps families affected by autism and Parkinson's. Well, <laughs> we got the word out. Now you're yeah. going to celebrate the big 5-0. Uh, yes, I'm telling you, I just went by that. I just I went know. by that in June. And it's <laughs> oh, it as fast okay? as I could. I just kept going. Well, I even survived. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for Thank being you. here. Thank so, you. Thank you so great very here. much. Thank you. Uh, by the so way, you can learn it. more how you can help out. Uh, help Holly celebrate in her special day. Go to hollyrod.org. And uh, we'll have more information on our Home and Family Facebook page.